Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this week's episode I am upgrading some things on my uh, CNC mill. Um, one of the things I upgrade is uh, the inserts I use on my uh, end mill. From uh, these inserts that are used uh, for mainly cutting steel to um, these ones that are um, made to cut aluminum because uh, they are way sharper and improve the surface finish, they improve uh, uh, how much it chatters or how little it chatters um, and they are just better suited especially for machines that are uh, less rich uh, such as mine. The second thing I'm upgrading is uh, I'm installing an MQL system this means a minimal quantity lubrication system this allows me to um, aerify some oil that is then uh, sprayed on to the end mill and the part which um, then provides constant uh, lubrication for the end mill. Um, I'm doing this because uh, whenever I uh, lubricated the thing by hand, um, the jet went down like three or four times in uh, intensity. Um, the surface finish improved ten times, and it just made a huge difference, especially on my machine because it's uh, so not rigid that it. Um, improves it a lot. To show you um, how much it actually improves it, on this part the upper part was uh, milled without and the lower part was milled uh, with oil. And something else I wanted to figure out was if I, um, the machine would be able to remove more material if I would uh, have a lot of axial engagement and a little radial or the other way around so a lot of um, radial engagement and uh, like a few tenths of a millimeter um, in the axial direction. So um, installing the MQL system was uh, actually really easy because I um, had some holes left um, on the other side that I used to um, attach the linear rails so I could just screw it on and uh, then I just installed the tubes in the I will have to order uh, some new tube for the pressure there, um, but I made it work by just using some vinyl tube I had laying around and it did go in, not how it should. And then I, on the other end, I just put um, my uh, air pressure system. At the moment, I control it by hand, which kind of defeats its purpose. Um, I will have to order some valves and some proper tubes so I can just quick put a quick connect on the machine and then just connect the air system. But for uh, testing purposes, uh, this was sufficient. Um, I'm just using some oil I have uh, laying around. I'm not really sure I um, what kind of oil it is. Um, I think it's kind of just motor oil that I'm using at the moment. Um, I will have to look into it. Uh, I will probably at some point get some um, cooling uh, lubrication emulsion. Um, but uh, this works fine. Um, I was surprised it actually worked um, with this system. Not even uh, that bad. It just took uh, a bit until it was um, up the entire tube but then it uh, had no problem uh, sucking it uh, into into the system. After that I had to uh, adjust how much oil comes out. Um, you have two little knobs you can turn, one for air, one for oil. You just adjust until uh, there's the right amount of oil. You really don't want a lot of it because it makes a big mess if it's uh, too much. And the new inserts already uh, sound way better. Here I'm uh, taking 0.1 mm in the radial and uh, 5 mm uh, deep. Um, it sounds way better than with the other inserts. Um, it sounds clean, the chips are uh, nice, they look nice, it sounds nice, the surface is way better. Um, here I was just trying out uh, how much I could take. On this cut I um, was uh, milling 
0.15 and uh, I turned on the cooling you could really hear what the cooling made a difference here everything else stayed exactly the same you can see the surface uh, in the front is uh, way worse than in when I turned the cooling on and after I saw that uh, 0.15 millimeters worked uh, fine uh, I increased the uh, cut the, the feed speed from about 300 millimeters per minute to uh, 600 600 700 millimeters per uh, per minute um, this also worked uh, still fine so um, after that I increased the depth of cut to um, 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 millimeters but for that I had to uh, decrease the speed the surface finish came out uh, really good um, and now I'm trying um, the other way around so uh, a lot of radial engagement and not a lot in the axial engagement so like five millimeters I think is this um, radial and um, about 0 0.5 0 0.6 millimeters uh, in axial direction um, and it sounds way better it looks way better and um, I can like remove like two or three times the amount of material like four to five times as much material in the same time with the same feed um, the machine sounds way better and uh, the chips also look way better they look like actual chips and yes I do need some covers this makes a huge mess but with the result I can't really argue because it looks just way better than before and now to the conclusion of this video um, these upgrades really helped with the usability of my machine um, with these upgrades they uh, now enable me to actually make something that will uh, work and no, I will not have to worry about uh, if my machine breaks down with these upgrades as much as before. Until this point I'm uh, really impressed with the inserts. They are way better for cutting aluminum um, than I expected. Uh, they improve the surface finish a lot and uh, also it runs way quieter now. The oil also helped a lot to the cooling system and lubrication system um, these upgrades will really help me um, use this machine effectively in the future and if you have any ideas on projects that I could uh, do with this machine or uh, with my lathe or something else um, write them in the comments I really would uh, appreciate this um, and if you liked my video then I would really appreciate the like or uh, if you would uh, subscribe and uh, thank you and until next week